are out here. This is Cars and Cantina. It's Lava Cantina in the Colony. We're just getting started. The parking lot is already looking pretty good. It's it's almost an hour prior, and we're already seeing plenty of cars are pulling in. We're gonna get it. We have the classic Jaguar pulling in. And we have a Corvette. Very good, very good. They're getting directions from Richard over here. We've got the 2016. <laughs> it's the AMG. The hood is up, so we'll get it, and then we'll get around the back. Here's under the hood. Typically, you don't have to modify these cars. They come pretty good as they sit. They do. Have you done anything to this one? We didn't, but whoever had it before us, it's got a complete FI exhaust on it. Okay, an exhaust and is... It's, and it's got a tune on it as well. So. Those are nice little, just little yeah. tweaks. So the owner says, it's got an exhaust on it. It's been tuned. We have the, the Mustang crew rolling in. It's got a wide body on it. And the wheels, are those off the shelf wheels or are those custom wheels? Or talk to me about those wheels. Uh, they're MCC inside. And then as far as performance, did we make a lot of changes or? Uh, a lot. It has uh, 600 horsepower, I think it's 400 stock. We took off the old two turbos and put the 164. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you for bringing it out today. Thanks for having us. This is our first time. We're going to keep moving. Here's this over here. The Supra. We have a Corvette over here. Very nice. Another Mustang. It's a good turnout. It's a... Uh, it's a little windy, it's a little cool out here. A pair of Corvettes over here, let's not. Got the car love going. And his buddy over here. And this one. There's your clean shot. Corvette. Quick shot of the show over here. You see some usual suspects. There's some car moving, people are rolling around. We have a 2023 RS3. This is the sedan. And they brought this out today, very nice. I'm gonna start here. This just pulled up. Just gonna give him his due. Hope you can hear the exhaust, it's in there. Of course, we have this, usual suspects. We have a Jeep. Lone Star off-road elements on the windshield. And... Vanderhall. I was gonna say they usually pack, they usually, they usually run in a, in a pack in, in some type of a group. This is Carmel on the side. I think that's an Instagram. So there are more than one. I just saw the one on that side. But here's a few more. And in the theme, I think we're keeping in the theme, we have a slingshot, which is welcome in the row here. Mach 1. 
we're going to swing it around for the GTR. He's rolling through. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. CJ underscore Jenkins, and I think. We have a Holden. I feel like this is dark. Okay. And Team Shelby is on the windshield of this one. The Cobra. The Mercedes. We get her on the back, get the badging on this one. Around the back for the badging. We have a C300. Here's the C300 from the back. There's the Shelby from the back. The Holden's over here with the trunk. Open. So you guys will recognize the green bean. And then we have this over here. So the green bean is the M4, and this one over here is the M3 and the sedan. The M3, and come to the other side over here to see my personal favorite. Love this car. Boss 302 is just rolled up. This parking lot is very busy. The Boss 302. And I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna roll back. Get it. Get it. Get it. Right next to these other two Mustangs. The Boss 302 spec. Supercharger winding? Is that the sound that I'm using? Sounds like a supercharger. There it is, Boss 302. And it's sitting next to this here. And we have the GTI. And on the Subi. So there's a lot going on over here. There's a, there's a Super that just pulled in. Of course, this Ford. And now this guy's getting moved. Scared of you. My goodness. Who is that? They're not even going to get in the parking lot. They're going to kick him off the street. And the R8. And. Oh, no. Oh, I think it is. Is it a Genesis? It's a Genesis. Continuing down the row, what does it say? It says 2.3L on this. We have the Dodge over here. Next to it is another Dodge. And on the other side is Texacoma Lifestyle. We saw them. But we'll give him another moment on the camera. Another shout out. Texoma Lifestyle. Texoma underscore Lifestyle on Instagram. So big it won't even fit in the frame. Trail Boss. The Silverado. I don't think that's a stock lift. The Camaro. 
purple stripes. My favorite, my personal favorite, with the black hood, the Trans Am. My lottery car, there he goes. Followed by one of the new Corvettes. Stingray is actually badged on the side. Be humble, I think I know this dude. So we've seen this truck before, this usual suspects, this is Louis' truck. He's been making changes to it. We have the Mustang here and beyond we have this is El Panda's Mustang you've probably seen it on his Instagram but there it is going through our first battery that's the the GTS 4.0 and we have the GLC 63 so come over here for the Lexus I'm gonna guess that this is the LC500. Here's a there's a Viper. Oh, he's in the row. Okay, there's a row of Vipers. I didn't even. I just got here. I just got over here, so we'll we'll check those out in a second. I was right. It is the LC500. Very very nice. Lit Furry is the license plate. Light Fury. Oh, Light Fury. Okay, okay. Light Fury is. I can add. Did you want to? Uh, do you want to? You want to shout out your channel? Because we can do that. I mean, look, I have a channel. All right. I still have it. I just haven't put that on there. Oh, okay, okay. We are out here. If you don't already know. Go ahead and tell them about your Instagram, what the, who they need to follow. Instagram, Carspotting KJ. Carspotting, no G, underscore KJ. And there's and, a channel. Yeah, there's a channel, but it's not up right now. But I'm on TikTok with the same thing. And I'm on uh, Facebook, too. And you can find it with the same name, too. So, yeah. Give him a follow. There. Follow yep. him. He's doing stuff. Yep. We have the... We have the Ferrari. We have the Ferrari here, which is flat black. And then we have the STO, beautiful, with the, oh my goodness. It's got the scoop up here. That's crazy, but it's there. It's, it's still there. The STO, killing it in the STO right now. It's so busy here, the, the 135M. Another Viper. How many Vipers do they think they're gonna get in here? Well, let's hit the Viper row. This is the Viper Row. There's a Viper getting parked over here, but this is the Viper Row. And we're going to cover as much of it as we can. We're just going to walk this entire row. GTS. I believe this is one of the older ones. Could be wrong. TA is on this one. This is the GT. We should do one long cut of the Vipers. Let him move and then we'll come over here. The SRT 10. And there's no badging on the side of this. It's just murdered out. It's just a murdered out Viper. And there's your row of Vipers. Cars and Cantina, Lava Cantina. And a row of Vipers. 
Sorry, the road's not over. There's more Vipers. The ACR. Okay, this is, this is, I think this is it right here. Usual suspects with the, with the Viper on this one. The RT-10, number 33, comes out all the time, very active. Here's the, the R8 V10 with the number 11 on the door. And get it from the back, beautiful spec. Really good. stops with these. Just keep rolling in. This battery's gonna die while I'm filming, I can tell. And finally this. And then this here. This is what I would get. When I have it, when it's time, I'm gonna get one of these. That's what I want. We are out here, Cars at Cantina, Lava Cantina, and guess who's out here? Reserve Auto Group is here. We have the Austin Martin. We have both Austin Martins, excuse me. We have both Austin Martins. We are looking at the DB11. That's the DB11. And the SUV. We have the McLaren. This is a busy place. We're going to take the row. This is Lamborghini. I'm going to say it's an Aventador. I don't, I don't know about the spec on it, but this thing is driving me crazy because he's got... He has a droid in the back, and that's just tripping me out right now. So this spec comes with the droid, so if you have any issues with your car, you just you just push the nose. Red 5. That's great. Red 5 is standing by. Swinging around, we have the 240SX. I don't want to just spend all my time on this side of the parking lot. Because there's so much going on. I don't want to just... I don't want to just sit on this side. This is a beautiful site, by the way. This is great. We got the R8 and the V10, and we have this. This.
this is beautiful. Let's get this on the back here. Let's find out what's going on right here. Let's go around the other side. There's a photographer getting his shot. So we've checked it. This is the 812 super fast. Tactical Fleet is on the license plate cover of this one. Porsche Turbo. And then this one over here, Pisa, is on the license plate. Let's get it. Let's find out what's going on here. Windows are super dark. Let's see if we can. So, in the window, 360 is on the dash. So, there's that. Another R8 with the V10. These things are gorgeous. Another R8 with the V10. We have the Reserve Auto Group booth over here with their Austin Martins. One is the DB11, and the other one is the SUV. Reserve Auto Group, you can find them across the freeway from Lava Cantina. They are right here in the colony. So we have the back of the Ferrari race car sitting over here on the on the grass over here. He's got the blanket and everything. And then if we come over here, there's this view with the back off. Someone said race ready. So my goodness, that's a lot of pipe. That's a lot of bends going on down there. This thing is crazy. Here's the interior on that race car, that Ferrari race car. I'm calling it a 308. I think it started life as a 308. I don't know. I'm not an expert. So, this thing is crazy. This is a LaSalle. A 30s, it's a 1930s LaSalle. This car has stumped everyone. No one knows what this is. I just talked to someone and they have a, a clue. It's a LaSalle. A LaSalle, he said probably in the 30s. Which just makes me think of The Great Gatsby. <laughs> with, with Leo DiCaprio in the yellow. It's probably a Duesenberg that he's driving. But anything from the 20s and 30s. <laughs> Here's the hood ornament on the LaSalle. I'm burying the lead here because on top of this LaSalle from the 30s, Planters Peanuts brought the Peanut Mobile. I can get away from this thing and still get it because it's. We'll walk past it, we'll get it from the front. Put that in Planters. Hashtag not mobile. This thing here. I miss the Wiener Mobile, but I'm not going to miss this. It's, and they're giving tours, they're letting people get in this thing. It's got the Gullwing door. The Peanut Mobile from Planters. <laughs> Mr. Peanut is right there on the side. People are getting to go inside and look around the Peanut Mobile. So, that. it's super popular, which is why. There we go. The Regera. Well, there's some shots of it from the back. I'm going to walk around the front and get some from the other side. Okay, pardon me, I'm just going to come over here. We'll get it from this, this side over here. The Regera. Yes, this is the Regera.
Koenigsegg, the Ghost Squadron. Everything you're looking at is carbon fiber unless it's silver or gold. It is triple X suspension. We can pretty much just sit here and stare at it. That is insane. Pretty rare. There's your there's your conic seg right there. I just realized. Just realized. So here it is. Richard's car here, and he's parked next to the Oldsmobile, the 72 Hurst Olds. There's that. Come over here, we have this. We're just going to walk the parking lot as best we can. We've got the Supra with the wide body. Super with the wide hoopty is in the window, is in the windshield. Hoopty is in the windshield. Up with a C5 uh, body, uh, chassis. So we have the, the Corvette over here, the Stingray. Very popular. This one is not the split window, this is the later model. 65. 65. And then over here we have the E type. Here's the E-Type over here. Hope we see him at the De La Gans later this year, at the Jaguar. Spend a little time with this. Thank you, sir. Here it is. The E-Type. There it is. We have the AMG. We're in Copy Strike Land over here with Gravis 84 pumping out the tunes. But we have the AMG GT. I don't know if it's the R or the S. The interior on the GTR, AMG GTR. We have this. The F8 from the front. We have this rolling through. This is happening right now. The Z06. Very, very nice. With the plates. With the, with the veteran license plates. Very nice. The F8 from the front. That's, a, that's the best I can do. It's 
so crowded here, it's the best I can do. Let's move. All right, there it is. Moving on. This is the top down on the Mercedes AMG GTC. I wasn't. I know the GTR GTS. This is a GTC and it's a convertible. We got the top down on this one. Badged as a GTC. The Mercedes. We'll get back a little bit. Here we are. Oh. There's the whole shot. That's what I wanted. We're going to keep moving. I don't have a year on it, but this is the Lotus. I've heard that these will come with a V6 or a V8. I, I knew them as the, as the four. It's a four cylinder, but I heard that they also came with they also came with other other engines. This thing right here, Lotus. I don't have any other badging on it. Let's let's get it. Here it is, the Lotus. Super rare in my bin, in my my opinion. Super rare. So, Ryder, we've got the owner. What year is this? It's a 2006 Maserati Grand Sport. How long have you owned this car? Uh, January of 07. Oh, okay. And and what kind of miles are we talking about? Uh, she has 58,000 miles on her. A so driver daily. Gone easy, though. Oh yeah. Gone, gone easy. Yep, absolutely. Uh, do you did you have you made any changes to the car? Any modifications? Uh, oh, I sure have. Absolutely. Do you want to run down the here? Let me. Okay, on the 06, you want to yep. go through the whole build sheet or just give us the highlights? Okay, the highlights. So basically, she's been uh, tuned, decatted, uh, X pipe to the exhaust, Marini decats. She's been lowered. Um, carbon fiber seats are going in. Carbon How far down seats. did you lower? Uh, about two inches. Two. That's a lot of lowering on a car like yep. this. Exactly. This is a GT car. It's meant to go long distance, high speed, com comfort. Have you tracked it at any? Um, it will be. Yeah, I've got. Uh, Sway bars, front and rear sway bars on it and all that. So next is the big brake kit, six piston. Because with power, it's you gotta have the brakes. You Precisely. Can't, you wanna have control when you have the brakes on it. Well thank you so much My for pleasure. bringing this out today. It's beautiful. Thank you. Austin Martin over here. Yeah. Another Lamborghini is over here. We're gonna get the startup. We're gonna get the startup. Are you? Are you? Sure. Are you starting? I mean, are you leaving? Yeah. Okay. It's not very loud. So we're gonna point it over here, but the one next to it's gonna start up. So I'm gonna get the startup on that one. He's gonna start it up. Anywhere like here. Here in a minute. So I've made it to the other side mostly, and I don't have a ton of time to cover everything. So I'm just gonna make my way as far down as I can before everybody leaves. Coyote badging, 5-0. Okay, so we're on the, we made it to the other side. This place is super busy too. This place is super busy too. I thought it was just classics, but apparently they've just got muscle, got all kinds of stuff over here. The kid in the front seat, in the, the child car seat in the car is always a pit move in my opinion. Thank God for the microphone. Thank God for my new microphone. I think he's on the ground. First the SS over here. You get the SS. Cowl induction. Very nice, very nice. Trying to get, and there's the clean shot. There it is. The clean shot. Thanks for the pro tip. We're starting up. Rear pipes, not side pipes? No, rear. Rear.
beer pipes, okay? Perfect timing. Real deal. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, this is what we want. Right place, right time, ladies and gentlemen. Be at the right place at the right time. Put it in gear. And we're off. Real deal. No airbags, we die like real men. Beautiful. Alright. I think this started life as a 69 Camaro, but is now a full Rusto mod. Magnusum Supercharger is under the hood. Let's get it. Magnusum Supercharged. There's the rare shot you don't get under the hood when it starts. of what came out on this side of the, if you didn't make it over here, I try, I try and get around, I try and get around. I mean the parking lot is, are there any spectators over here? Well I'm glad I came all the way over here, because that is awesome. That's super good. This is getting a lot of attention. Yeah. It's badged as a 635 CSI. Imagine 80s. Oh, am I in your way? I think my lighting's super bright, but. Get him. Is this over here? I need to change my lighting. Okay. The 635 CSI over here. Looks like people are leaving. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try and come over here try and grab as, as much as I can before I before they get away they're starting to get away you got this row over here grab this row I'm gonna say usual suspects are in there and there's that Camaro there's this row over here. I guess they wouldn't fit in the other Vanderhall row. So they put them over here. With everyone leaving, it's getting kind of loud now. But there's another row of Vanderhalls over here. The Mustang and, and Lexus group are leaving. I'm gonna grab this now, because I'm a fan. Which one is it? Which one is it? We'll get it on the back side. It's the RS7. This thing with a carbon fiber hood. A little wide body on the front. Crazy. All right, rare shot. Now we got the rollers on the on the Lotus. Rollers on the Lotus. There he goes. Tires moving. Very good. All right. Supra, Camaro, the Corvette, that's it, Silverback, 